Swarika, I'm Vas and this is Live University. Today the question is why would someone study NLP? First, what is NLP? I think you need to know what it is. Psychology, NLP, personal development, they are all to teach you something about you which the education system doesn't address whatsoever. You go to a psychologist when you have a psychological problem. Not a medical problem, but a psychological problem. What is that? Laziness, procrastination, a lack of excitement, lack of confidence, can't speak in front of a crowd, can't express yourself, can't control your emotions. And so, when you go to a psychologist, psychologists specialists specialize in pathology. That means, they study psychological problems. So when you go to a psychologist, they use a process, maybe called counseling, and help you understand what's going on. And then the counseling process does work. I studied it, but it takes too long. And psychology has been there for a long time. Then, in the early 70s, NLP was invented by these two guys called Richard Bender and John Grinder and many others. And what is NLP? Different from psychology. NLP. We study success, not pathology, but success. How unsuccessful people, sick people, poor people, people who failed in business, how they pick themselves up by themselves. And when we, Richard Bandler, John Greeter, use the modeling process to elicit the strategies of such people who succeeded by themselves, now we have processes that everyone can use to get them from where they are to where they want to go. Okay, you understand that. Now, next thing is this. We are all not born equal. All of us come into life at different levels. Not everyone is born into a rich family. Not everyone is born into a successful family. 99% of human beings are born impoverished, born not endowed with this good. So for people like that, you don't have to live life like that. You're born like that, but you don't have to live life like that. Now there's hope. Because we studied success, we have now processes to shorten your learning curve in one lifetime to take you from where you are to where you want to go, step by step. That's why people come into our program. So that's, you may be thinking, so NLP is a problem for only for problem people? No, it is for problem people who want to succeed and also for people who are already successful and want to take it to the next level. Because a lot of people go into business, build their business, but they cannot grow. And they don't know what's stopping them. And we unravel that and free them to go achieve anything they want to achieve. So it is for people who are successful too. And that's why we have a huge crowd here of all kinds of people, all natures, who have different entries into this life. But they want the same goal. They want to be awesomely successful. And that's why we have NLP. And finally, let me tell you this. When you are successful, you want to know how to help someone. Yes or no? For you to sustain your success, you want to know how to help someone. And there you have NLP. The other part of NLP, which is therapeutic, where you as a leader can use the therapeutic skill to make another leader so that you can sustain your success. That's all I want to say. Because that's enough for you to know that we've got thousands of people coming to our program to study NLP. And maybe if you think about your problem, you don't have to sit on it. Get off your back and then come and solve it. I am Vas. This is Live University. Help is right here. Thank you.